Good morning, everyone. I'm looking at the uh, excessive heat warning alert here. Today, uh, our air is going to hit a high of 101. Uh, could go up as high as 105. And tomorrow, could go up as high as 106. So, it's very hot. It's going to be a hot weekend. Bữa uh, nay, ta... Uh, tiền báo là, 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 là rất là nóng có thể hơn 100 độ um, It's kind of interesting that as soon as the next weekend as soon we done with the Chanchi the heat rises uh, It's kind of nice to wait it until until uh, we done to uh, to uh, uh, let loose uh, Mình cũng may mắn là cũng À, bỗng nhiên à, được họ đợi cho tới à, thiền tắc xong rồi mới rồi mới mới nóng như vậy. Thế nên mà nóng cả ngày ngày chắc ngồi ngồi thiền rất là khó. If it were this hot, then it would be very hard to cultivate to meditate all day. Actually, if you were in Southeast Asia, uh, it would be impossible to uh, meditate. Uh, thì ra nếu quý vị ở Đông Nam Á thì uh, nóng như vậy khó mà ngồi thiền lắm. In fact, when I was um, uh, in uh, Taiwan uh, mấy năm trước khi mà thầy ở Đài Loan, uh, in the summertime in Thái Trung, trong Đài, Đài, Đài Trung đó, uh, every day is like this, mỗi ngày như vậy. And the fan is on 24 hours a day. Cái quạt đó, nó bật lên cả ngày, cả đêm. And... Uh, Uh, yeah, the heat makes it real difficult to cultivate because when you meditate, you do it right, you're supposed to increase your body temperature. Cái thời nóng như vậy rất là khó thiền tại vì uh, lúc mà thiền mà nếu mà đúng dùng công, dùng công đúng đó, thì cái, cái hơi nóng của người nó, nhiệt độ của người, nó, cơ thể nó sẽ tăng. Okay. Your body heat naturally increases when you start to meditate. Khi uh, cái, um, hơi, cái nhiệt độ của cơ thể đó, nó, 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 nó tăng ngay lập tức khi mà quý vị tăng trưởng. In fact, uh, if you have some real skills, thật ra, nếu như quý vị mà có công phu đó, uh, when it gets cold, you can heat up your body instantaneously. Uh, khi mà quý vị có công phu, nếu mà trời lạnh, quý vị có thể uh, làm cơ thể nó, nó nóng ngay lập tức được. Ok. No. I remember a long, long time ago. Rồi thì nhớ uh, cách đây uh, hơn còn như hai chục năm. We go to, I go to, uh, the, the, uh, go out at night, đi chơi bằng đêm. And then, um, we decided to, we would decide to go to the ocean. Rồi đường đêm như vậy, uh, mát rồi, uh, đều quyết định tới, 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 tới biển, ra bờ biển. And you know, uh, when you go to the ocean by the, by the beach, uh, the temperature you know, temper drop at least 5 to 10 degrees. Uh, khi mà tới bờ biển như vậy, là cái nhiệt độ nó, nó, nó xuống khoảng chừng 5 đến 10 độ. Uh, and then, um, plus it's a wind chill factor, rồi còn có gió nó thổi. So it can get pretty cold. Uh, uh, in uh, like uh, uh, at the at the, at the beach, and uh, nhiều khi mà uh, trời có thể rất là lạnh. And um, uh, people I know would be able to uh, 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 don't even have to wear any additional clothing. Những người thầy quen đó, họ không cần tôi mặc thêm áo vậy, bởi ra biển trên bờ. Because they, they can they have some 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 meditation skills. They don't have. They're not afraid of the cold at all. Họ có công phu thiền, họ không có sợ, không sợ lạnh thế nào. Okay. So going because they, they can heat themselves. This is why uh, we usually organize the meditation retreats on on uh, in the winter time. Bởi thường thường vì vậy mà khi um, mấy cái thiền thất thường thường tổ chức trong cái mùa 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 đông because it's more appropriate uh, environment more conducive to to meditation the cold weather is more conducive to meditation in contrast the uh, 
uh, in the summertime or in Southeast Asia in general, it's so hot that uh, it's very difficult to meditate. Ngược lại, uh, mùa hè họ phải trong cái vùng Đông Nam Á, thì thường kia hồi rất là nóng, thành rất là khó mà thiền. And uh, but even in the summertime, nhưng đều ngay trong cái mùa hè đây nữa. Even though it heats up a little bit when in, when you first start and you you start sweating. Uh, nên nhiều khi nó nóng như vậy, cái vị ngồi thiền nó sẽ nóng hơn nữa, thì bắt đầu chảy mồ hôi. Uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You you keep at it. You ignore it. You bear with the heat, and naturally your body will cool down. Rồi nếu cái vị mà bị nóng như vậy, nào, trong ngồi nóng như vậy, chảy mồ hôi như vậy, cái vị chỉ cần kiên nhẫn, uh, chịu đựng một tí, Và tự động nó sẽ nó sẽ nguội xuống, tự động nó sẽ mát lại. Ok. Uh. When you reach, when you go, it's first you endure the heat. Thành cái vị nhớ cái, cái quá trình như vậy. Thứ nhất là mình chịu đựng cái nóng. First you have to endure the heat. You have to endure the sweating. And then, naturally, you will, your body is, you will, will cool itself down. Được tự động, đủ thời gian rồi, đủ, đủ cái duyên rồi, thì tự động, cái cơ thể cái vị nó, tự động nó, nó sẽ mát xuống lại. Ok. And... Uh, and then that's when you uh, understand how eventually how to cool yourself down. Từ 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 quý vị sẽ hiểu làm sao để con người mình nó mát xuống. So meditation skills. People ask me the last chan chi. They ask me why is it you you organize a meditation retreat during the summer when it's real real hot. Uh, thì bởi vậy cái tuần thiền thất vừa rồi đó tháng thiền thất vừa rồi có người hỏi thầy là tại sao tổ chức thiền thất uh, trong mùa hè nếu nó nóng như vậy nó không thuận tiện như việc uh, thiền in fact it's not true uh, uh, because uh, if you if you endure the heat okay then you understand that your body can cool down and you and you naturally develop the ability to cool your body down Thành ra cái gì mà uh, uh, ngay khi luyện thiền trong mùa hè đi nữa, trong nóng đi nữa Mà biết uh, uh, nhẫn chiều cái nóng đó thì từ từ người nó sẽ mát Và từ từ cái người sẽ hiểu cái cách để mà cái người mình nó, nó mát xuống, làm người mình mát xuống So meditation is a very interesting uh, uh, set of skills Cái thiền đó, nó rất rất là yển chuyện You develop the ability naturally to heat up your body Increase your body temper, temperature as well as Uh, lower it at will as well. Uh, thành ra quý vị khi mà thiền mà quý vị có công phu rồi đó, quý vị tự động sẽ hiểu cách uh, làm sao cơ thể mình nó nóng lên và hoặc là làm cơ thể mình nó mát xuống. Okay, it's a skill you acquire naturally, and uh, that's why uh, part of meditation is that the first lesson you learn is to be patient. Bởi vậy cái thiền á là cái một cái pháp môn mà cái bài bài học đầu tiên quý vị phải hiểu là phải nhận you have to be patient you patiently sit there and go through the process quý vị chỉ cần chịu nhận nại ngồi xuống và thiền thôi thì tự động sẽ hiểu những chuyện đó and naturally you develop the skills and the understanding of all these things the reason people don't develop these skills is because they give up too quickly. Lý do những cái người mà không có những cái những cái hiểu biết đó là tại họ ngồi chưa được lâu hoặc là họ bỏ cuộc sống quá. Okay. Any questions? Ai thắc mắc gì không? Okay, then since uh, he has no question and today is going to be a hot day, we can cut it short and uh, go to the beach. Yeah. This is beach weather. Uh, actually, maybe you should have a, a, a meditation class at the beach side, uh, on, on, at the beach. Chắc là when it's this hot, nhiều khi nóng như vậy, mình nên tổ chức mấy cái lớp uh, thiền ở, ở bờ biển, uh, or up in the mountain, where a little bit cooler, <coughs> at the, the nude. So. All right. Um, does anyone uh, have anything that they uh, want to ask or anything they'd like to bring up? Do I có thắc mắc hay muốn có bàn về chuyện gì không? 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, every time I try to start it again, the my leg is still stiff. If I do, if I have time some days, like I do many times a day, keep on, keep on, in, in one month or two, okay, this problem can go away. Maybe. Because of, I don't know, I'm saying, I just finish it, and then start to follow the leg is stiff. I mean, when your leg was not stiff during the Chang Chi? Uh, after a few days, it's, it's gone. So only in the morning when I started, yes. But, mm-hmm. uh, but as the days going on, it's not like that. Okay. Câu hỏi là, ông này cũng nói là trong thiện thất thì cái chân ngồi mỗi buổi sáng nó sẽ nó hơi cứng một tí. Nhưng đều cứng cáp một tí. Đều không bao lâu thì cứng nó lỏng cả ngày luôn, ngày còn lại. Còn bây giờ ông nghỉ một tuần rồi, nghỉ thiên thất một tuần rồi đó, thì bây giờ chân bắt đầu nó cứng ngắt lại. Thì không biết tại sao nó như vậy. Ok, that's part of your learning process. Eventually, uh, you sit long enough, you patiently continue to sit no matter what. Then naturally, your, your leg will, 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 be, will soften up, will become supple. Cái đó là chuyện rất tự nhiên. Quý vị cứ tiếp tục ngồi thiền, thì cái chân nó, từ từ nó sẽ lỏng. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. How do we know that we are meditation is actually progressing? Yeah, I'm sure I'm being like a man and team board on team. Okay. Um, How do you know you're making progress? Why you have to make progress? Yes. Or is it even important to make attention to that? Hmm. Hmm. Câu hỏi nữa là có cần có cần tiến bộ không? Cần chú ý đó là không? Okay. Why do we need to make progress in meditation? Everyone. Tại sao mình cần tiến bộ? Why? Why do you need to make progress? You're referring to the fact that uh, the word you're looking for, I believe, is single-minded. Tôi nói là như mình đi thiền, mình mục đích đích trên thiền để mình mình được nhất tâm. This is the objective of meditation. The objective of meditation is for you to develop the skills, the ability, okay, to become single-minded. Cái mục tiêu của thiền là để dạy cái vị được nhất tâm. This is Mahayana's objective. This is Chan's uh, meditation objective. Cái thiền tông đại thừa mình, mục tiêu mình là vậy, là được nhất tâm. How do you become single-minded? Làm sao mà được nhất tâm? Single-minded meaning that it's not two-minded, it's not three-minded. It's not four-minded, but one-minded. Nhất tâm là gì? Nhất tâm phải là nhị tâm, phải là tam tâm, phải là tứ tâm. What is saying? What is uh, what is uh, uh, double-minded? What is two-minded? Anna, what is two-minded? Can you give me an example of something that's two-minded? Two-minded is the beauty. 
many into it's not it's hard to talk about. No. Wrong. Okay. Can you give me an example of some, some of a state of two mindedness? It's very precise. Meditation, Chan is very, very precise. Okay, when we say single minded, what does it mean? Two mindedness, what does it mean? Three mindedness, what does it mean? I just created, invented the word two mindedness, three mindedness to illustrate a point. Okay, yes. Two-minded, <laughs> close, yes. Janice, what is two-mindedness? Talking on the phone and cooking. Talking on the phone and cooking. Uh, <laughs> that's more than two-mindedness. It's more like chaos. Vừa nói chuyện, nhất tâm, nhị tâm, tam tâm, lấy cái chữ nhị tâm, tam tâm, thầy mới chế ra để 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 dạy quý vị một cái một hiểu cái, 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 cái khái niệm về thiền. Thì thầy hỏi nhị tâm là cái gì? Thầy cho quý, quý nào cho quý vị, uh, cho thầy cái ví dụ nhị, nhị tâm gì được không? Yes. Okay, he says, if you recite the Buddha's name and you count at the same time, that's that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, second mindedness. It sounds to me like ten mindedness, not second mindedness. Thầy nói cái đó mười niệm vật mười đếm tức là có vẻ như là mười mười tâm nhưng vậy thập tâm nhưng vậy là nhất tâm, là vậy là nhị tâm. Yes. No, that's Taoist. That's not Buddhist. Forget it. Thì ông nói một tay là một tay vẽ cái cái hình vuông, cái vẽ hình tròn. Tôi nói cái đó là pháp pháp tà đạo của tụi đạo giáo thầy cũng chơi đó. Yes. Excellent. Very good. For someone who doesn't meditate. That much. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> he doesn't meditate professionally. You didn't allow me to finish. <laughs> yes. Is it two mindedness? Yes. So Is it? Uh, that's what I wanna ask. Is it? I'm asking you. Well, because one part is that I'm reciting Since you meditate so often, you should know. Dan Tien. Dan Tien. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have to find uh, 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 a more Americanized name for the Dan Tien, the navel. Okay. okay. So is it two, two-minded or three-minded? Yeah. What do you think? Come on. How long have you been meditating now? Our Chan technology? Huh? At least over six months, right? And you still don't get it? Sarah? Yes. I had a similar question uh, about... She asked it first. It doesn't count. When, when you said, I have the same question, you have to give me the answer. Before, but I, think I start to realize that there were moments that you don't really think both reciting and then focusing on the attachment. What happened? <laughs> This is so, so nebulous. Yes, what happened? That's so interesting. I used to have things in situations like, oh, this is too much. And so reciting Amitabha's name and focusing on the Dantian, and then uh-huh. I'd start to feel like I'm not focusing on the Dantian. But at some point, as I uh, do more meditation, I start to forget that I'm doing two thoughts. 
So what are you? What were your thoughts? Were you sleeping? There's really nothing. Just like nothing. This woman has so many problems. <laughs> yes. See, that's what frustrates Anna. Anna says, "You want single-mindedness, and you give me two-mindedness, and you don't explain it. Two-mindedness is actually more to me like three, four-mindedness, because it's." And then she says. I recite Buddha's name to my navel, that's two, okay? And then I wonder, is this two-mindedness? Then it's three. And then she says, no, it cannot be two-mindedness, then it's not four-mindedness. You understand two, three-mindedness, the concept now? I'm illustrating a point. Okay, thầy đơn giản là cái cô bà này, bà Thăng Phiền mà nói là thầy dạy chúng con là vừa, vừa niệm Phật, ai như là Phật. Xong rồi nói nhìn niệm Phật, rồi nhìn nó rú mà niệm Phật. Thì bà nói như vậy là, 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 là nhị tâm, nhưng mà là nhất tâm. Vừa niệm Phật, còn nghĩ tới cái lù rú là nhị tâm rồi. À, thì tại, tại sao thầy nói cái là nhất tâm được, sao nhất tâm được? À, thì thầy mới nói, à, thiệt ra đó không phải nhị tâm. Tại bà khi mà bà làm như vậy, bà nói là nhất là Ai Di Đà Phật là nhất, nhất tâm này. À, cái niệm đó lù rú là nhị tâm này. Ok, à, tư tưởng thứ nhì rồi tưởng thứ ba mà nói là cái này có phải là có phải là nhất tâm là không là là, là tam tâm rồi cái tư tưởng thứ tư nó là cái này không không thể nào là không không thể nào là là là, là, là nhị tâm được đó là tư tưởng thứ tư rồi tức là tứ tâm luôn ok đó là loạn tâm nhưng có nhất tâm gì đó nó so basically you go from one mindedness from a Buddha's name you tell yourself you should recite the navel which is two mindedness which is not bad and then you ask yourself Anna, since she, she's so accurate and she's so demanding, like Sarah as well, it's, it's something about you folks, American people here. We Vietnamese have no problems. <laughs> right, Tan? Um, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this is, a, I, I maintain this is what the Vietnamese don't have a problem and you Americans have a problem. <laughs> okay. You see, this, this, and Chinese too. Chinese have a lot of problems. And you, sir, in the back, what, what uh, nationality are you? I mean, what? Uh, Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, Chinese have a lot of problems. <laughs> okay. Understand the concept. The reason I use the word two-mindedness, three-mindedness, and three, four-mindedness, and so on, ten-mindedness, it counts the number of thoughts you have when you meditate. Is that clear? Kim thầy dùng cái chữ tạm tạm dùng cái chữ là nhị tâm nhất tâm tam tam tâm tứ tâm đó là nó nói về cái 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 số lượng của tư tưởng cái gì có khi mà thiền. If you recite Buddha's name alone, that's one-mindedness. Nothing else. You're thinking of as to accept that Amitabha, Amitabha, or oh my God, oh my God, doesn't matter, whatever you think, okay? You don't have to recite Buddha's name. You only can say, uh, praise the Lord, hallelujah, whatever, okay? Doesn't matter, okay? That one thought you have, it's called single-mindedness. Second-mindedness is when another thought, a different thought arises, like, I should recite to my navel. Okay? That's two-mindedness. Is it clear? Right? And when you do two-mindedness, you, you do it long enough, and then a certain a third thought arises. Is this single-mindedness, or is it? Okay? And that becomes three-mindedness. Is it clear? So meditation is for you to sit there and make sure 
that you recognize you go from one mindedness to two mindedness to three mindedness to four mindedness. The moment you're aware, you're multiplying mindedness, you're multiple mindedness. That's when you cut it off and you say, go back to your original recitation, your original focus. Is it clear? That's a drill. That's a mental drill that you need to go through constantly. Cái thi như vậy đó. Cái vị ngồi, cái vị giữ một cái tâm, một cái tư tưởng thôi, thì cái tư tưởng gì nó nhảy lên, cái tư tưởng thứ ba nó nhảy lên, thì mình mình chạy chạy theo nó. Đó. Thì chạy theo có nghĩa là chạy theo có nghĩa là cái tư tưởng nó tăng nó tăng triển. Ok. Thì khi mình nhận nó được thì mình chặn nó lại, xong trở lại tư tưởng đầu tiên. Ok. Thì chỉ làm như vậy thôi. Đó là thiền. We agree on that. We understand the process. Am I describing what you're going through right now or just my imagination? Yes? That's what you're doing right now. You sit there, you keep on thinking, you stick in allowing thoughts to rise, one thought after another, you follow, you follow, you follow, you follow. And that's called chaos. Nếu cái vị cứ để cái tư tưởng tăng triển như vậy, cái đó gọi là tăng loạn. Okay? If you don't allow, if you go back, to, you go through the process, and you, you don't allow yourself to follow these thoughts, you keep go back to the original thought. Okay, then you go from ten mindedness back to one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you go back to one. Two, three, four, five, six, you go back to one. Two, three, four, five, you go back to one. So by this process, you naturally go back to one mindedness. That's a struggle. It's a skill you develop. How are you going to develop the skills unless you do it? You mentally go through the exercise. Is it clear? This is a very important exercise you need to do. Quý vị thấy không? Đây là một cái quá trình quý vị phải làm thì mới bắt đầu thấy được cái tâm mình bắt đầu nó chạy. Nó chạy mình phải chặn nó lại, mình trở lại cái chỗ cũ. Cứ thấy nó chạy tiếp. Mình chặn lại, mình trở về chỗ cũ. This is iterative process. You see your mind wanders. You realize you're wandering. You stop. Go back. To the original thought. Your mind wanders again. Stop. Go back. And so, the very important process is, is that it increases the awareness, your awareness, the awareness of your mental activities. Agree on that. This process, the first advantage of this meditation process is that it makes you aware of what you're thinking about. That the fact your mind is wonders and you indulge in wondering your mind. Thành cái thiền nó quan trọng. Thành giúp cái vị thấy là cái tâm mình nó hay tán loạn, thích chạy. Nó thích chạy, cái này chạy theo cái nọ. Nó rất là quan trọng. Mình thấy cái tâm mình nó đang thích chạy theo, thích suy nghĩ. What's so great about it? If you allow your mind to wander, then your mind is chaotic. You get distracted. You can't do anything. Cái vì để cái tâm tán nó như vậy, nó không làm được cái gì hết. Yes. It's being scattered. That's being scattered right there. Okay? When you go to multiple mindedness, that's chaos, that's scattered. Forget it. We give up on you. You say, okay, just, just go home and work at it. Okay? Is it clear? This is a very important process. This is what's going on in your brains right now. You don't even realize it. You keep on indulging it. You keep on allowing yourself to be scattered. You think it's so great. You, you see, this is exactly the sickness in today's, in this day and age. A guy, people are so proud, especially smart people saying, I have my, P, my PC here, my <coughs> smartphone here, uh, the radio's on, TV's on, okay? And they think that they're smart. No, no they're not. They're allowing yourself, they're encouraging yourself to be scattered. They allow themselves to be overloaded with information. That's all they're doing. Because you open the TPC, 
you have a smartphone, you have an iPad, you have your, your, your TV, you have your, mu uh, your music in the background, okay? All you're encouraging your mind to do is that becomes overloaded more quickly. That's all you're doing. That's stupidity. I'm sorry, am I insulting anyone here? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm coming to that. Okay. Let's turn the table around. Do you have any choices? Huh? Tell me. Do you have any choices? I just give the example of someone, you know, being very proudly proclaiming that I, I am usually have my PC, my my smartphone, my iPad, and my my TV and my my stereo on, all the time. And not to mention when I'm doing stocks, I have another screen, a second screen for my stock. Uh, I follow my stocks as well. Okay. So I describe that as an information overload. Right? We agree on that, right? Eventually, there's so much information you can't take it anymore, correct? You know, eventually, th these people claim they're so proud, they say, okay, I can handle five, six of these things, but actually, they can't. They actually can do only one or two at a time. That's it. But they claim they can do five, six. It's not true. Okay? All they're doing is they become overwhelmed, and then they can only focus on one at a time. That's it. They rotate. That's all they can, that's all they can do. Okay? Now, 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 what choices do you have? Not, why am I not impressed? Why shouldn't you be impressed by those claims? You, you, you simply, even if you don't have five of these things, of these things going at the same time, it's happening to you anyway. Your ears are picking up sounds from your neighbors, TV set, okay? Especially if you live in a condo. You know, I used to live in condos and apartments. You can hear your neighbors walking on top of you, can't you? And then your neighbor's kids crying, or the damn dogs uh, barking. Excuse my language. You see that? Can you, can, you, can you stop yourself from hearing? You can't. Baloney. Right? And then you sit here. You, pretty soon you should be smelling a little bit of food being cooked for the last half hour for you. You smell it. And you say, wow, this sounds like roast duck. <laughs> hmm. No, it can't be roast duck. I think it's uh, it's uh, Calbee. Okay, right? Yeah, you're bombarded by your sense organs constantly. What's a big deal? What's difficult is to be able not to be interrupted. Not. No big deal in being overwhelmed. Overwhelm is a natural state. The real skill is to concentrate on one thing and ignore the rest. That's a skill you do. That's, it's difficult. That's real important to have. Agree? Can you tell me? Trước sau, cái giác quan mình, cái lục giác quan mình, nó sẽ bị ngoại cảnh, nó, 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 nó chế ngược. Nhiều quá, mình chịu không nổi, mình theo không nổi. Yeah. Cái khó khăn đó là ở chỗ, cái tài là ở cái chỗ mình có thể uh, chú tâm mà không bị bất cứ cái gì nó ảnh hưởng mình, nó, 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 nó phân tán cái tâm mình. Cái đó mới là cái khó. Còn nói là mình mình có thể chú tâm 2, 3, thứ, 4, 5, thứ một cùng một lúc, cái đó, là, cái, đó là, cái đó là tán loạn, đâu có gì đặc biệt đâu. Agree? 
So you're developing through meditation the ability to recognize your mind is wandering, becoming overwhelmed. You can uh, uh, cut it off. So you, when you go back, what it means is that you are wiping out all the ex- distractions and go back to one original thought. That's concentration. Okay? Nhưng cái gì thấy mình chỉ trở về cái tư tưởng cuối cùng là mình đầu tiên hết là tức là mình đang 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 tập cái chú tâm. Okay? So far so good. I still have an answer to the original question. Well, you teaching me to recite Buddha's name and then recite to my neighbor. That's two mindedness. What 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 is this? Okay. Is it two mindedness? No. Ah. The, the only thing you the all the, the, you, you thought is just put on a word and that's what makes you go through the process mm-hmm. yes. is it one mindedness or two mindedness it's one mind one mindedness agree no Sarah doesn't agree and, 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 yeah. okay. and master I know see that's all you do I describe the process. That's one mind. Mm-hmm. It's not two. If you don't do this, it's still one mindedness, right? It's still one. But I'm only giving you a better way to recite, a better way to concentrate, go down here instead of staying up here. Much better. That's all. It's only expedient. Don't stay up here. This area is not good for you. Mm-hmm. This area is not good for you at all. It's a, there's a message behind it. Thầy nói cái vị, thầy nói cái vị nó nói chú tâm và đang điền mà niệm Phật ấy, nghĩa là sao? Nhất tâm là nhị tâm, cái đó nhất tâm nhé. Mình chỉ nhìn đang điền mà niệm thôi. Nhớ, đâu có nhị tâm. Nhớ. Yeah. Nếu đó, once you get into sing one one mindedness, then you enter samadhi. You cannot enter samadhi until you reach one one mindedness. Quý vị mà khi mà không như vậy có nghĩa là nhập định. You understand that? You have to reach. You cannot end. You not control when you enter samadhi. Okay, but you can control the one mindedness. You get you you get yourself ready to enter samadhi. That's the skill you develop. Okay. Is that clear? That's meditation right there. Right? Yes. I don't understand. Why you sat down and talk? My mind is here, right? One mind. I just see must say smooth from here. Why well, I have the breeze? I just follow the breeze. breeze and is it single minded or, or is it two minded? I think it's single. I think it's single about breeze. But I'm not excited to follow it. Okay. A single minded. There's no need to worry about breathing even. Breathe, breathing is a, is a worry that only the people who are uh, afraid of dying would be worried about breathing. Okay? You shouldn't be afraid of dying. You're going to die anyway. There's no need to be afraid of it. No need. You will die eventually. Sooner or later. Could be tomorrow. Could be today. Could be next year. Could be, you know, later. It doesn't matter. We're going to die anyway. So why, why, why are you worried about it? Okay? Anyone else? Yes? Mm, I have an experience with Laurelena again. She, I don't know if it's too much work that she's been going through since um, she um, 
finally finish, is finished school, but what I notice is that she is so worried about seeing things on her mind, and she specifically says that, that, uh, that, she said that make her be afraid. Yeah. Now, uh, now um, I'm thinking, that's why I was asking you if it was probably too much of the information around tests, um, one thing after the other in the school. Now still she received an invitation for math during the summer, so she's going to that. On top of other things that she would like to do in summer, so is she going through, she wanted to come and sit down and meditate, but she was so asleep. I mean, she was found asleep that I didn't wake her up. Mm -hmm. um, but she's very, she asked me if she could meditate with me last night. Yeah. Um, and, but I don't know how, we don't know how to just make her ex and understand that it's all on her mind, in her mind, because even though she, she refuses to let go the idea that is uh, that is something going on. on her you mind. cannot explain too much. It's more important for you to do. I spend an hour talking to you is to help you answer your questions, but all this is to help to encourage you to continue to sit. You cannot. You don't have to understand too much. Just sit. So when you sit, you have these questions, these problems, that's what you ask, okay? You write down these questions, these problems. So when you have a chance to ask, ask. But don't need to understand too much, okay? Uh, the more you understand, the more difficult it is, the more difficulties you're gonna have. There's no need, okay? So in her case, you just have to encourage her to meditate with you. The two of you meditate together. And after the meditation, she'll be recharged. Her mind will be clear. It will be clearer. And that's going to be very good for her. And eventually, you, you could, you know, you, you, uh, you, you could uh, uh, encourage her, even when she's sleeping, to get up and, and meditate. Even if she comes here at least early, and especially on Saturday morning, it's kind of inhumane you know, to make people get up this early. But you get up this early, there's an advantage. You may be sleepy at first, but eventually you, you, you will not be sleepy anymore, and you look forward to it. Okay? So it's okay. You can come here, you can sleep. You know, it's okay. You can doze off. It's perfectly okay. And naturally, you won't need to sleep as much. Okay? It's all natural. You don't need to worry about it. Okay? All right. Any other questions? You have to do. You don't want to know too much. Okay? The reason being that uh, the meditation teacher, as, a medita as I teach meditation, I always... You, it may appear to you that I know so much and I explain everything that, you, that to you. Actually, I don't. I don't know that much. I only explain enough for you to resolve your doubts and answer your questions. But I don't overload you with information. I only show you so much, tell you so much. There's so much more I'm not telling you. Okay? There's no need to tell you until it becomes a problem. Có một cái vị đường tưởng, cái người thầy dạy, người, người dạy thiền đó, người dạy hướng dẫn, người tu luyện đó, nó có cái, đừng, đừng, đừng nghĩ là người ta, người ta muốn cái, uh, biết nhiều đâu, muốn gì biết nhiều, không có đâu. Cái người thầy mà giỏi, người ta chỉ muốn cái vị biết vừa đủ thôi, để mà tu thôi. Tại vì đó, biết càng nhiều, nó càng, càng dễ đi lạc được, càng tưởng tượng. Ok. So in, in, in summary, you need to know what you need, you need to know what to do next. That's all you need to do. You don't need to understand. If you know, if you're doing the proper thing, then naturally you will understand. There's no need to look, for, you know, to need to demand to understand. If you do the right thing, you will understand because that's what meditation is about. Meditation is about teaching you what to do 
so that you can understand, you have the proper understanding naturally. Cái thiền dạy thiền giúp quý vị chỉ quý vị cái đường, cái cách phương pháp để mà làm để khi quý vị làm như vậy tự động sẽ hiểu. Mà quý vị cần phải hiểu. Okay? It's only not only meditation, it's also with uh, with the uh, mantras, it's also with the Buddha recitation, nó phải riêng về thiền mà uh, niệm Phật cũng vậy, niệm chú cũng vậy, tất cả nó cũng như vậy thôi. Okay? Any other questions? You have to do. If you do, then you understand. Same thing. You know, if if uh, if uh, if Laura Lena has problems, tell her to meditate. Tell her to to to, you know, to meditate, and it, on, at first it appears that it would appear that she would have we should be wasting time to meditate, but it's, it's not the case. If when you are in trouble, you cross your legs, you meditate. Okay. It clears your head. It makes you able to solve your problem more effectively. You're not wasting time at all. Okay? It's more important to know, to realize that when you're in trouble, you're faced with a problem, to acquire the skill to clear out your head. That's critical. That's what Chan does. And the thing is that when you have a problem, you sit and sit and sit and sit and sit and xếp bằng lại để đầu nó trống ấy. thì lúc đó mình có thể sáng sáng suốt hơn mình giải quyết vấn đề một cách hữu hiệu hơn. Ok. Là the whole point. You need to learn to clear your head. Mình phải biết, mình phải biết tẩy sạch cái trí mình. Ok. Any questions? Ai thắc mắc gì không? Okay. Um, a lot of uh, people ask me a lot of questions uh, about things, and sometimes I uh, ignore those questions, or I only answer some of the questions only for those reasons because. Um, Uh, the best knowledge is when you uncover it yourself. Do not want to give it to you. If you hear from me, it's not as good as when you yourself see it, you yourself understand it. Okay. Nhanh ra, thường thường thầy, như người hỏi thầy nhiều câu hỏi lắm, mà thầy như thầy không trả lời, hoặc là thầy trả lời sơ sơ, có loa thôi. Tại vì những cái hiểu biết đó, từ từ cái vị tu, cái vị sư tử hiểu đấy. Chứ còn nói từ mình nghe rồi cái miệng của thầy là cái đó cái hiểu biết của thầy và hiểu biết của quý vị hiểu biết quý vị phải tự thấy lại tự hiểu cái chuyện đó ok anything else all right we have nothing else we can stop here and go to lunch ok can we cut it off I have one one final thing to say before we we end just turn off the camera Thank you, everyone. Uh, I turn off Skype, turn off everything. <laughs>